Hello happy people, I'm back with another video and today I want to show you all a new product that I recently purchased. It is actually a gel polish remover kit. I actually ordered this from walmart.com and I want to do an unboxing with you all and testing the product and reviewing it to see what I think about it. So currently, right now, I do have some gel polish on my nails. Um, yeah, this is this is what my nails are looking like right now. I've had this set on for a little over two weeks. So you can see all the growth that has taken place since then. And I'm about ready to take my manicure off. I normally do the soak method to get my manicure off, but I wanted to do something a little bit easier because it takes a while. And actually, so at first these nails look pretty similar. I had put a peel off base coat and I did like a, the gel dip powder method on this nail just to kind of test it and see how I liked it. And I actually liked it a lot. So um, yeah, that's why this one looks different. I decided to try something new. I got bored with the look of the, the nails or whatnot. But yeah, this is the manicure after two weeks. And if you're wondering what's on my nails, I have a red carpet, uh, best buds. Yeah, that's what's on my all of my fingers right now. Besides this nail, this nail actually has um, Sensational uh, Gray Day. That's what that looks like. And then I topped it off with um, Sally Hansen Purple Prisms. And that's what gives it this pretty little, you know, sparkly look or whatnot. And um, on this hand, I did uh, this nude polish from Beatles. I absolutely love Beatles gel polish, by the way. Really awesome. Um, but yeah, it's kind of like a sparkly nail. There we go. You can kind of see a little bit better. And I tried the the you know try to do the tip on the nude nail. Didn't really like how it looked, so then I added some glitter. So yeah. And then for the base and top coat, I used Beatles. The stuff is absolutely amazing. Anywho, let me unbox this product with you all. I have not seen anything on here, only reviews on YouTube. It looks like it had pretty decent reviews, so I wanted to kind of leave my impressions of the product as well. So this product is from Equate, which is actually a Walmart brand. I think it came packaged pretty nicely. Um, it came within the bigger package. Okay. Alright, so, okay, it's cute. This is what we're looking at here. Sorry, the ring light's kind of glaring at you there. But um, it says quick and easy gel nail polish remover. Move your polish in half the time. And it says save time and money by removing gel polish at home. Easy to use and clean. Steam your nails for 10 minutes and easily remove polish. Salon quality results. No more cotton, no more foil. So that's what that says here and here. And looks pretty easy. It says, you know, you buff the surface, put it in, and scrape off. So, all right, let's go ahead and unbox this. I'm happy that I got, like, a brand new product, because sometimes, you know, they don't always give you new stuff. Um, it also says what the set includes. So this is what it includes here. Okay, it says a steamer and cover, stainless steel nail cleaner, and a cuticle pusher. A nail file solution cup and AC power adapter and no gel solution is included so I actually have my own so that's quite all right okay okay so this is what all comes in the package so this is the first thing I got here this is the power adapter, so I'm going to go ahead and plug that in. We have here oops, the two utensils they mentioned. So we have a nail file. Okay, seems like they have pretty decent grits. And then we have a cuticle pusher. It's like a pretty decent cuticle pusher, actually. Like it's well made. It's kind of, this size is actually a little bit shorter than I expected, but yeah. This is the cuticle pusher, and then this is the actual item itself. So this is what it looks like here. And I guess these are the indicators here on the side. You can see it says equate, equate beauty at the bottom. Okay, and then here's the on off switch. And then this is the adapter. Okay. This here comes with the instructions. 
Okay. Tells you how to use it. I'm going to read this off screen. And then this piece opens up here. Okay. Okay. So you open it up and then it has like, okay, it looks like it has like additional pieces. So this is the, okay, this is the part for, uh, I guess where you put your hands in it. So like this part right here, looks like it's a replacement. Got a little cup here. And then it looks like it comes with this cup too. So two cups and replacement. So that's pretty cool. It says you're supposed to fill it up halfway with acetone. When you turn it on, uh, it'll make a beeping noise. After six minutes, it'll be fully heated up. And this indicator light will show steam. And that's when you'll put it in to uh, steam your nail polish off. It'll beep after five minutes and then beep again after 10 minutes. This is what I typically use to take off my gel nails. And I did like the foil method and also the little the little clip method. Um, but I don't know that this is 100% acetone or not. So what I'm gonna do is I actually purchased this from Walmart as well. And it's just the 100% pure acetone uh, remover. And because they say use pure acetone, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna actually do two different ways. On one nail, I'm gonna buff the surface and remove the polish, and on the other nail, I'm not. I wanna see what happens, because when I normally remove my gel nails, um, whether I buff the surface or not, it seems like it's pretty difficult to, to still get off. Um, so, um, yeah, I'm gonna do one where I buff, one where I don't buff, and see how that works. First, I'm gonna fill this up to five ml. Filled up the 5 and mill. I'm going to just set it right back in here, like so. Okay, I'm going to plug it in. Okay, it beeped. I guess it's already on. Okay, yeah. So, this is the off position right now. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. You heard the beep, and it says it'll take about 6 minutes to warm up. And then just when you're supposed to place your hands in. So they said in the instructions you're supposed to put your hands through here like this, but then make like a little like a claw thingy. So kind of grip the bottom, which is what I'll be doing. So I'll be gripping the bottom like this. I also I want to add some oil in here because I saw a few reviews where they did oil and it seemed to help with the removal process. So I have some coconut oil that I'm just gonna go ahead and slide in here with that same solution. And I'm going to just let that sit, slide this on, okay there we go. So it slid on into position, you see the heat indicator light, I'm going to wait 6 minutes and I'll be right back. In the meantime what I'll do is I'll prep my nails, what I'll do is I'll prep my nails. I think this one is the one that I'll buff, so the hand with the nude nail is the one I'll buff. The one without the nude nail, I'm, I'm going to just keep as is. So I'll be back after six minutes. The steamer just beeped. It made the same beeping sound as the as it did when um, I first plugged it in. So um, as you can see, this hand, I buffed the shiny top coat off. And this hand, I didn't. I'm going to go ahead and try this hand first and see how it works. So I'm going to go ahead and put my hands in and just make the little claw motion. Okay. And it says I'm supposed to leave my hands in for, it'll beep after five minutes. And then again after 10. So I'm gonna let it wait five minutes. And then I'll be right back. So it doesn't feel too hot or anything. It actually feels kind of, it feels good. It feels like my hand is in a spa right now. Just hanging out, so. I like the feeling of it so far. It's not burning or anything. It just feels warm. Okay, so that's the first five minute beep. I'm just gonna take my hands out and just see what they kind of look like. Uh, okay, it looks like a little bit of peeling is taking place here on this hand. Not much though. A little bit lifting here. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put my hands back in, see what they look like after 10 minutes. Okay, 
So that's the second beep. And you see here it says finish. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove it and see what it's looking like. Um, doesn't look too promising here, but uh, let me try to scrape it off and see what happens. I'm gonna just set this to the side here and start scraping my nail here. It's coming off a little bit. It didn't flake up as much as I was expecting it to. This one doesn't feel like it did anything. Impressed right now. So, I mean, some of it's coming off, but not like as easy as I was expecting it to. Still gotta, I mean, I'm not scraping like super hard or anything like that, so that's not horrible, but I guess I just kind of expected it to peel right off. Just gently scrubbing. I mean, it did soften it up, which was nice, though. Okay, this piece peeled up here. So the thumb, I didn't really feel like got any exposure to the acetone. It's still peeling though, which is kind of nice. But I didn't feel like it got as much exposure as the other fingers did. But the stuff's still trying to come off, so. Yeah, that's what comes off easily. So this is what it looks like after 10 minutes of soaking and a little bit of scraping. So this is what came off thus far, okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually probably soak it for like another five minutes and see what happens. I need to um, turn it off and turn it back on per the instructions. So the green light is here, so it says it's still ready. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put my hands back in here. So at some points I still kind of actually let my hand touch the acetone. It's warm, but it's not too hot that it's like unbearable for me. So I just kind of I kind of dip it into the acetone and then kind of let it hover over the um, the steam. So I feel like it might work a little bit better that way. Okay, so that's after an additional five minutes. This is what it's looking like. do not really look like much flaked off at all. But let's just scrape it and see what happens. So, yeah, honest thoughts on this. I don't think that it's really all that great. Um, I feel like I get the same results soaking off. And this seems like because my hand isn't directly touching the acetone that, you know, it's not coming off as easily. Like, I mean, don't get me wrong. It's coming off as you can see, but it's not like, like life changing for me. So, I don't know. Um, don't think I will actually keep this item. It's kind of a bust for me. Um, yeah, you see, I still have to like pry at it a little bit to get it off. Like, I don't know. I just feel like after 15 minutes with the soak off method, like it came off like really easy. So with this one, I feel like I have to still try a little bit harder. The only thing I do like about this is the fact that um, I don't have to fuss around with like the cotton balls and the foil and the clips and things like that. So, I mean, that's like the only plus to it. But honestly, I saw some soak off bowls on Amazon where I'm like, okay, I could just <laughs> buy the bowls and soak my hand in some acetone and call it a day. So, yeah, I don't know. And then I also feel like the soak off method for... Um, 
using like a hot bag and some acetone work better as well. I'm not too impressed with this. So yeah, this is what my nails are looking like after I guess 15 minutes of soaking. Um, it's not bad though, you know? Let's see if I can get the focus. So this is after 15 minutes of soaking. Still a little bit here that I can file off as well. I could probably just file this part off. It's not wanting to come off. I don't want to soak my hand again for that. Honest impressions of this item. I don't know. I'm going to actually soak my other hand off camera just because, I don't know, this is kind of frustrating me a little bit. Um, yeah, I don't know how I feel about this product. Um, let's see what the inside is looking like here. Yeah, I mean, the inside didn't do too much. It's just the acetone and the coconut oil still hanging out in there. So, yeah, I mean, I don't know. This, this product was $25. I don't necessarily know that it's worth it. Um, if I have any updates on my thoughts of this product, I'll let you all know. But for right now, I'm thinking it's more so of a bust. Um, I think I'll probably just stick to the soak off method with like a hot bag and a cotton ball because I felt like that removed things fairly quickly. I think five, ten minutes I was able to get everything off my hands. So, yeah, um, I hope you all enjoyed this review. Um, I was going to try to see how it did with the shiny top coat still on, but when I saw how difficult it was with me having buffed it I don't think it's going to be too much better but yeah I hope you all enjoyed this review this is just my first impressions of the item it's possible I might come back and do an updated review maybe there's like a learning curve to it or something like that but yeah I hope you all enjoyed this video um go ahead and leave some love in the comments down below and yeah I'll see you all in my next video I hope you have a wonderful awesome spectacular day bye